Hi, Archie. Hi. How are you today? Um, fantastic. I'm fantastic too. In fact, I'm fabulous. Oh. Okay. Which page are we on? Well, that's a good question. What page do you think we're on? Huh. You know? I forgot. Well, it looks like we are on slide 32. We finished this page. We finished this page. Well, I know because look what I see here. I see the star. So I'm going to delete the star and we can go to the next page. Ooh, do you remember what just happened? Yes. Do you see? Her, her, her diamond just fly. It's flying, right? It's flying yeah. there. It doesn't look like anybody's holding it. Yeah, I know it's a bad guy. The, 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 the invisible the, bad guy. The invisible thief. That's right. And Geronimo, Geronimo is saying, huh? Huh? And what's that girl? Oh, yeah. Who is that girl? Oh, Priscilla. I think she's Priscilla. Yeah. Yes. He's saying, oh, no. And Swift Paws is saying, great galaxy. He has some alliteration there. So, oh, my goodness. And what happened to Duchess Mousecovia? What do you think is happening to her? Uh, diamond just flew the word the invisible the invisible thief thief come yeah but I think she, it looks like she's falling down it looks like it looks to me like someone is holding her up and she's falling down and her eyes are closed in English we say that she's fainting fainting that's this word right here. It has a two letter A in it that may not be used at the end of English words. And then there's the blend and T, faint. So she is, oops, I don't want that. She is fainting, fainting. So she's, she's falling down and her eyes are closed and, and, she, and she's fainting because she just can't believe it. And then up there, do you remember what we call that light, that fancy light that hangs from the ceiling in a, in a place like a, like a ballroom? It's called a chandelier. Kind of a fancy spelling. This CH at the beginning of chandelier makes that sound. Remember the CH makes the sound So in chandelier, it's making sound number three. Chandelier. 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 All right. Well, oh, and here's that word that I just said, the word fainted. Do you see it right up here? It's in blue. F-I-N-T, faint. And then they add E-D to say fainted. So then she, she is... Duchess Mouscovia fainted, falling into my arms. Oh, who's my? Who is this person right here? Jerome. Jerome. Geronimo. Yeah, so he, he has to catch her. And then someone's going to talk because I see the quotation marks. Oops, that's the wrong place right here. So I look ahead to see who is it talking because I always like to know who's talking. And I see that it's going to be Commissioner Ratford. So then I go back to see what he says. He says, hey, stop. Commissioner Ratford, give back the diamond. Now, this is interesting. Let's see. So that's who talks there. But now there's someone talking here. And it's I the invisible thief. 
I think you're right, right? Because I look to see who's, who's say, someone's going to say, I'm sorry, but I can't. It's the invisible, in the invisible, please say that. That's right. You're right. So he answers, responded means answers or says back to, responded a nice voice that came from the area near the floating diamond. Right? So the, the chief of police says, give us back that diamond. And then out of thin air, someone says very nicely, I'm so sorry, but I can't. <laughs> so Swift Paws and I looked at each other dumbfounded. This is our, this is one of our words for today. So let me um, highlight that in blue. We talked about responded and dumbfounded. Dumbfounded means just so surprised, we don't even know what to say. We're just so surprised, we can't even speak. That's what it means to be dumbfounded. Now that's a little bit hard to say. Can you say that? Dumbfounded. 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 Yes. The, the tricky letter in the word dumbfounded is this B, because the B does not make any noise. We do not say dumbfounded. It's, it's just dumb, and then we skip the B, and it's found. You can see the word found right here. Dumb, found, and then we add the ed. Dumbfounded, dumbfounded. And that means so surprised we don't even know what to say. Very exciting. All right, should we turn the page? Yes. Okay. This chapter is called what? Stop Sleep. Stop Sleep. All right, well, let's see what happens. After the initial shock of seeing a floating diamond, Swift Paws sprang into action. All right, so we have a couple uh, things to talk about here in this sentence. First one is going to be, let me see, the initial shock. Uh, and then in orange, <clears throat> sprang into action. Well, yeah, okay. So initial shock, initial means the first thing that happens, your very first response. Okay, and the shock is just, ah, I can't believe that you're so surprised, just can't believe it. And, and you might be so surprised, you just freeze. You don't even know, you don't move, you don't know what to say, you're like, ah. So first they see a diamond floating in the air, just nobody holding it. And they're so surprised that they're just, don't do anything, okay, they just freeze, like, ah. And then after that, there comes the next response. So the first response, the initial response, maybe that lasts, I don't know, three, four, five seconds. And then they spring into action. So when we say spring into action, it means boom. So you go from like, uh, nothing to ready to, to do something quickly. Okay, so Swift Pause is the first one to recover from his shock. And he says, Get ready, invisible thief. That's what he says. Now that seems a strange thing to say, but he says, get ready, invisible thief. He squeaked, okay? Because that's what a mouse does and he's a mouse. Holding out his paws. And then he says, costume super net mode. Now, do you remember what one of Swift Paws superpowers is? Let's take a look here at Swift Paws. It says one of his superpowers is that he can transform his super suit into anything. Okay, so all he has to do is say costume blank and his super suit, his yellow suit will change into 
whatever he wants it to change into. Now, let's see here. What page are we on? I think we're right here. So he says costume super net mode. Okay, mode means um, like, mode is a hard word to explain. Mode is like what type, okay, or what category, or what, um, like what channel. And so he wants his super suit to turn into a net. Well, what do we use a net for? We use a net to catch somebody. So I think he wants to catch the invisible thief with a net, okay? So immediately my super partner, that's Swift Paws, turned into an enormous, which is very big, enormous butterfly net. You know, the kind of net you would use to catch a butterfly. He raced after the, the flying gemstone. Well, what is the flying gemstone? That would be the big diamond that's just kind of floating in the air. Unfortunately, that means oopsie daisy doozy doozy, too bad. He wasn't watching where he was going. And what happens if you're not watching where you're going? Kaboom, you run into something or you trip or you fall down, right? Well, a minute later, bam. Or how do we, I don't know how we would say that. Ba bam. Swift paws ran smack into one of the steaming fountains of fondue. Do you remember those fondue fountains? Yes. Those looked like this, right? So Swift Paws is running. He's not looking where he's going. And all of a sudden, he runs into one of those fondue fountains made of cheese. Well, what do you think is going to happen when one of them falls over? Mm. All of cheeses. You think it'll knock the next one over? And then the next one? And then the yes. next one? Yes. Have you ever heard of the game of dominoes? Yes, like all the blockers, like all the blockers here. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. That's right, right? Chain reaction. So, all right, let's see where we are here. I have to go back and see. I think we're right here. Okay. So, the first fountain fell into the second, which fell into the third, which, well, you get the picture. It was one giant cheesy mess. So, let's see here if there's any words we need to remember from today. Let's see here. We know enormous means really, really big. And I think we know all the rest of those words. Okay, guess began slipping on the melted cheese that now covered the floor. The invisible thief took advantage of the chaos and fled with the diamond in his invisible paws. So chaos is our word here. Do you know what um, chaos means? No. It's when everything is crazy. Everything is so crazy that no one even notices what anyone's doing because it's all too crazy to even notice what people are doing. It's just, sometimes if you're at a party with a lot of people, it can seem like chaos. And you can do something and no one even notices what you're doing. It's a great place for people to be sneaky actually because no one's gonna notice, it's too crazy. That's chaos. And took advantage of, that's another, um, those three words go together. Taking advantage of something is saying, ooh, this situation is perfect for what I want to do. Okay, so you take advantage of that situation that you're in to do what it is you want to do. So if you want to do something sneaky, then a chaotic situation or a place that has chaos would be the perfect place for you to do something sneaky. And you could take advantage of that. Something else you could take advantage of is um, like if Costco is offering a great deal, if Costco is saying, hey, come and uh, if you buy 
um, you know, if you if you spend 2000 NT here at Costco, you can have an extra 500 for free. Or, hey, if you come to Costco and you buy um, two pizzas, then you can have another two pizzas for free. Just today only. And you're like, woohoo, I want to take advantage of that. Let's go to Costco right now because they're just doing it today. That would be taking advantage of a special sale. Um, something else you can take advantage of is someone's kindness. You know, if there's someone in your life who is so kind, they're never going to get angry at you. They're never going to be upset with you. They're never going to tell you no. Well, actually, someone could take advantage of that. And, and that's not really a good thing. It's not really a good thing to take advantage of someone's kindness. But a lot of people do that because it's, it's, it's easy to do. Uh, let's see. So he's taking advantage of the chaos and he is slipping out the door, right? And no one is going to notice. Well, for one thing, he's invisible. But everyone else is watching all of the cheese fall all over the place and everyone's slipping and sliding in the cheese covering the floor. It's, it's just a disaster. And the chief of police said, oh, no. Oh, no, shrieked Ratford. Shrieked is when you say something, it's like yelling, but it's yelling in a way that kind of hurts your ears. It's a really high pitched yelling. I noticed a trail of cheesy tracks. You know what tracks are? Yes. Like an animal can leave animal tracks, right? So you could go out into the woods and you could find some, some deer tracks or moose tracks or hopefully not any tiger tracks but maybe the dog's tracks. And you could say, oh, I found some tracks. They're animal tracks. I'm gonna follow them and see where the animal goes. Do you know there's some people that have a job or a hobby where they have learned all of the different animal tracks and you can show them any track you want and they'll know exactly what animal made the track. Did you know that? Yeah. Because different kinds of animals have different kinds of paws and they have a different number of claws or toes or um, you know, their footprint looks different. And so the, the park ranger or um, maybe a boy scout might be able to say, I know that track, I can follow that track. Well, remember that the invisible thief was invisible but there's cheese all over the floor, right? Melted cheese. So even though he's invisible, he steps in, he, he has to step in the melted cheese. It's on the floor, right? So now Geronimo notices that leaving the room are cheesy paw prints on the floor, right? Tracks that he can follow. So the invisible thief might be invisible, but his, there's still cheese on his feet. And so um, it started from the table and went toward the staircase. There wasn't a moment to lose. That means hurry, hurry, hurry. So like a true hero mouse, I scampered after the thief following his mysterious tracks. That, that means Geronimo's, he, he's doing something good here. I arrived on the top floor of the Grand Hotel and followed the tracks down a long hallway. But soon the tracks became lighter and then they disappeared all together. I stopped and looked around, but I, next page, I had no idea where the thief had gone. Okay, the footprints stopped. So he gets up to the roof of the hotel and footprints are gone. Well, I continued to hear the sound of footsteps, but I couldn't figure out where they were coming from. Now, remember what the author does when he wants the character to say something that shows how surprised he is. He usually says three words. Here he's gonna say four words that have something to do with cheese and they don't mean anything. They're very silly, right? So here he says, soap. 
oops, I, I did. I, I almost said it wrong. Soaking Swiss cheese milkshake. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> I cried in exasperation. We're going to talk about this word in a minute. With those words, though, my cheesy superpowers activated. I forgot that Geronimo Stilton must have superpowers, and I'm not sure what his superpowers are. But it goes whoosh. And then a strong stream of gloopy, cheesy milkshake. His superpowers have something to do with milkshakes. <laughs> shot down the hallway. And thanks to the stream of liquid cheese, the invisible thief immediately became super visible. That means he went from being invisible to being visible. Stop thief, I yell. All right, I know you can probably see the next page, but I want to stop here for just a second and ask you if you know what a milkshake is. No. All right, well, then I'm going to show you a picture of one, okay? Yes, like strawberry milkshake. Oh, have you ever had a strawberry milkshake? No, my mom didn't give me. One strawberry milkshake coming up. Look, it's top of the list. My dad loves milkshakes. So you can see which one should we look at here. Why don't we this look at, huh? This one. Well, I don't know which one you're pointing at. Tell me if it's number one, two, three, or four on the top. On the middle two, middle two. This one? Yes. Okay, so there's a milkshake. It's, it's a little bit blurry, but the one I was looking at was this. I was looking at this one here, and I was also looking at... Um, Oh, that, those are good milkshakes. Uh, I was also looking at this one here. Although that's, yeah, that's a pretty good one. So do you know what a milkshake is made out of? Milk. Well, there is some milk. You shake the milk. You shake the milk. Yeah, no, right. There might be milk in it, but that's not the main ingredient. Try again. Bubble. Now, there's bubbles from shaking, but that's not the main ingredient either. You said the fruit. Well, yes, there's fruit, but um, the way you make a milkshake is from ice cream. You know what ice cream is? Oh, I know. So the, you start with strawberry ice cream. You might add some milk to it, but you start with strawberry ice cream and you probably put it in a blender and then you just and you and you melt it and it will be milkshake that's right and so and then you can drink it with a straw and you might put some you know like whipped cream on top or something like this one here has some uh whipped cream on top okay and then you might add a couple strawberries to it you know if you want to and so uh and uh the strawberry Mama, mama, like a chocolate, English. chocolate, and a strawberry chocolate there. Yeah, you could have a strawberry chocolate milkshake. You could have a chocolate milkshake. You could have a milkshake made out of any kind of ice cream you want. So you could have a mint chocolate chip milkshake. But now you know what one is. And so isn't it interesting that the superpower uh, now, remember, he said cheese milkshake. He, he, in fact, he, he called it a Swiss cheese milkshake. Because remember, he likes cheese ice cream, which to me sounds really disgusting and weird. But, you know, he's a mouse. So, and so imagine if he, his superpower is to, I, I don't know where it comes from, his suit. But all of a sudden, all of this milkshake just comes out everywhere and it goes down the hallway and it, it's kind of like spraying from a hose. You know, think about spraying water from a hose. If you're spraying a milkshake everywhere, it's going to cover the invisible thief. And then all of a sudden he's not invisible anymore. He becomes visible. 
Because do you see right here, I want you to look at these two words. This word here, visible, is the same thing as this word here. You see it? They're the same. Visible means you can see it, okay? You can see it with your eye, your eye can see it. But do you see this I-N at the beginning? Yes. When you put letters at the beginning of a word, it's called adding a prefix. And a prefix can change the meaning of the word. And the I-N prefix means not, okay? It turns the word into the opposite. So not visible, which means you can't see it with your eye, okay? It's, it's like air, you just can't see it at all. It's not possible to see it, that's invisible. So that's why it's the opposite of visible. So he changed from being invisible to visible and you can see here, right? Because you see where the, you can see here the, we have to read this here. It says the superpower of Geronimo Stilton is that a stream, that's like a river, of Swiss cheese milkshake activated with the cry, soaking Swiss cheese milkshake. So if, if Geronimo ever says those words, then all of a sudden activated, it's like turning on the on button. It's like hitting the red button that turns something on. And so all of a sudden a Swiss cheese milkshake started pouring down and it landed on the invisible thief. And so you can see, maybe you can't see his body, but he's covered in cheese. You can see his body covered in cheese, a cheese milkshake actually, right? Yes. I don't know how to say these letters. Arc, 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 ah, arc. I don't know how to say that. It's like, ah. And, and Geronimo says, stop, thief. All right, well, we have to keep reading here. But the at, oops, wrong, wrong thing. But the agile rodent zipped through a door at the top of the stairs. So our, our vocabulary word there is agile. The agile rodent. Agile is someone who is like someone good at doing gymnastics. They're just very, or, or a good soccer player. They're, they're very quick on their feet, right? They can move and change direction quickly. I followed him up the stairs until I found myself on the rooftop of the Grand Hotel. Don't look down, I thought. You see these italic letters? The letters are in italics. They're a little wiggly, look like they're, they're leaning over. That's what he's thinking in his head. He doesn't say it out loud. He's just thinking. Don't look down, I thought, but I was already feeling very dizzy. Do you know that word dizzy? Dizzy is when you're kind of like, uh, I think I'm going to fall down. Have you ever sp spun around in a circle so many times that when you stop spinning, you're just like, uh, like that? Yes. That's being dizzy. All right, and some people, if you put them on the top of a really tall building, they might feel a little dizzy. They might feel like, oh, I'm too high up here. I just, and that's how he felt. He did not like being on the top of a very tall building. Okay, well, here's those three words that have to do with cheese that he's saying because he's so surprised and they're very silly. He says, holy cheese sticks, I'm afraid of heights. Now being afraid of heights means that you are afraid of being in a very tall place. Okay, the word height means how tall is it? When someone says, Archie, what is your height? You need to tell them how many centimeters tall you are. A, a building. Um, Do you know your height? My height, my height. My three, 3,800. 3,800, like that? Yes. 3,800. Well, let's see here. Um, let's see how tall is the, um, let's see how tall the Taipei 101 is, okay? 
how tall is the Taipei Taipei 101? This is, uh, well, let's do meters. So it's 392.8 meters. 392.8 meters is how tall the Taipei 101 is. Now, let's see, if you are, Well, we'll I'll check on that. Okay, so a height is how tall something is. Well, my height is Great Mountain. Oh. I can go up Great, great Mountain. Yeah, because you're not afraid of heights, right? You have no problem climbing to the top of Jade Mountain. I think Geronimo might have a problem with that. He would get up there and he'd feel a little dizzy. He'd be like, oh, I don't like being up this high. So he's on the roof of this building and he's not very happy about it. But he says to the thief, he says, surrender, I shrieked. Surrender means give yourself up. Stop running. Turn yourself in. No, come with me. But nothing happened. Then I thought I saw something peeking out from behind the chimney. I crept closer until, Super Stilton, it's me, a voice cried. Now we don't know yet who that voice is, but the author is about to tell us. It was this smart, beautiful and brave Lady Wonder Whiskers. Now I was really dizzy. Why do you think he's dizzy now? Do you think he likes Lady Wonder Whiskers? Yes. Yes, he does. Do you remember what Lady Wonder Whiskers looks like? Here she is. Oh, yeah. I bet Geronimo Stilton likes her, huh? Mm -hmm. right. The mysterious mouse with special powers. She always seems to be in the right place at the right time. Lady Wonder Whiskers, here she is. Well, let me see here. What page? Lady Wonder Whiskers. Lady Wonder Whiskers. Lady Wonder Whiskers, I exclaimed. What are you doing here? Before I knew it, I was staring into Lady Wonder Whiskers' brilliant blue eyes as if in a trance. A trance means I, I can't look, I'm, I'm like, I can't look around. I'm not aware of anything around me. I'm just like staring straight ahead and you could go like this and I wouldn't even blink. I wouldn't even know you're there. What strength, what charm, what a mouse. This is what Geronimo thinks of Lady Wonder Whiskers. He thinks she's beautiful. He thinks her eyes are brilliant blue. He thinks that she's so strong. She is so charming. So he's all of a sudden, he's not paying attention to the invisible thief anymore. He's just like, remember before in the ballroom when he was watching uh, Duchess Mousecovia? So he's like, no one's going to get by me. I'm looking at her. I'm watching her. And then remember Priscilla came down the stairs and all of a sudden he was like, oh, I just love her so much. And he forgot all about the Duchess. <laughs> well, now he's just about to catch the thief. And Lady Wonder Whiskers arrives and he's like, oh, she's so beautiful. And he forgot all about the invisible thief. <laughs> so he really kind of, he's such kind of a funny character. And Lady Wonder Whiskers says, is everything okay, Super Stilton? Lady Wonder Whiskers asked. And he doesn't talk very well to these beautiful ladies, right? He, he, he kind of- No, I mean, yes, I mean. Yeah, like, no, I mean, yes, I mean, right, I babbled, babbles. What was it that, what word did the author use when Lady, uh, oh, what, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. what was that uh, girl right here? Here. Remember when she, oh, no, wait a minute, not there, right here. Next page. Yeah, when, when Priscilla was coming down the stairs, oh, yep, yeah, it's also, Right here, I babbled. 
right? That's when he said the same thing. You're wonderful. Or, I'm wonderful. Uh, I mean, it's wonderful to see you too. I bet. And then he says, why am I such a mess around smart, attractive female mice? Attractive means they just look so beautiful. He just thinks they're so, so great. All right, where am I here? There. There we go. I was interrupted by a very loud splash. And this is where, dun, 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 dun. that's not what I want. What do I want? <laughs> <laughs> no cutting. This is where we're gonna put our star right here. Okay, so it's very exciting on the roof of the Grand Hotel. Will he catch him or will he not? He will fall down. You think so? And the invisible fish will catch him. Okay, well, this is where we say what? So long. So long, Chatterchip. All right, bye, Archie. Bye.